Thank you for watching. Deal. Deal. It's great. All right, go for it. Agree. You guys are just like pick one. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that antsy, huh? All right, so you take the, the glass, and, and if I put it in too quick, it, it will pop off. Oh, wow. You can see the crack, actually, where it was ready to go. But if you heat it up slowly, you see it's getting pretty hot already. You don't feel that in the back. It doesn't go up the way it handed. Nope. Yeah. See, it was ready to come off there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to save it, though. Maybe. Okay. So this is just uh, our sheet glass, scrap sheet glass that we have. We cut it into strips, and uh, you know you can go out and spend a lot of money on glass rods at like Hobby Lobby or something, or you can come in and buy our scrap glass and do this get the same effect. Um, and you can also make your own if you need that rod shape. You can make your own stringers out of this stuff. And uh, I'll show you guys that too, but. I'm going to show you just a basic bead. We offer classes on this. I won't be your teacher, so you, if you want to learn how to do some fancier stuff, uh, they can teach you. But, so uh, once I get that glass nice and hot, I can start spinning it on my rod here. Uh, you, you know, depending on how much glass you put on there, obviously it determines the size of the bead. Uh, I'm going to make one a, a little bigger than what I've got. And you just heat the glass up and spin the rod there. That's probably big enough. Okay. So it's it's kind of not shaped the way I want it, but if I heat this up and keep spinning, um, I can help get it centered. And then it also helps shape the outside of the glass. And then I can also shape the glass by using this. Smartering block here. I like to make the barrel beads too. So I'm going to flatten this out a little bit, but I'm going to add some frit so you guys get to see how the frit, how the frit works. So we have the crushed up glass here. I'm going to heat this up, and then just by touching the hot glass to that the frit, it'll pick it right up. Can you guys see the frit? Can you see it? And again, like I said, I like making barrel beads, so I'm going to flatten this out. This isn't my best bead, <coughs> but I won't, I won't keep it guys right here. It's not actually very centered either. But once the glass starts cooling down, you can see some of the color coming back to it. You can see the frit in there too. Oh, come on. So uh, these guys that get to play around with this stuff a lot are changing the frit up, trying different sheets of glass here and uh, experimenting with uh, 
you know, different techniques. Uh, you know, they take the stringers. Oh, I'm just going to show you how to make a string. So a stringer is pretty simple. You just take uh, your glass. And heat it right in the middle there.